Starting is always the hardest part, except when Albert and Margaret decided to create Telemann 30 years ago. It was a simple decision. 1985, Albert and Margaret were faced with a choice. Does Albert do the dirty work for GTE and lay off 200 people? Does Margaret pursue her musical career? Or do they start a business that would eventually employ over 1,400 people around the world? This is how Telemann was born. When I first joined Telemann, there were only 50 employees who occupied a modest facility on the northwest side of Indianapolis. It wasn't much, but there was the feeling that we were on to something much bigger. In 1989, we went coastal by opening our first remote office in Chino, California to support our business with GTE. We would later do it nine more times in nine different states. It wasn't until Pacific Bell came along in 1991 and Telemann won the contract to provide Nortel Optical Network Solutions to Pacific Bell in 1992 that things really got going. Ever since that relationship began with Pacific Bell, now AT&T, and Nortel Optical Networks, now Sienna, it has only gotten stronger and continues to be one of Telemann's most important business collaborations. Telemann came on board during a very important period for AT&T. We were in the midst of a new network deployment, and we needed a partner who we could trust. We couldn't afford any stumbles, and Telemann delivered. The only thing about a growing company, you always need more space. So in 1999, it was time for Telemann to move. 50 miles to the building we now know as home, right here in Carmel. Isn't it great? Telemann represents what this city is all about. Forward thinking, innovation, and dedication to our community. I can't imagine Carmel, Indiana without Telemann. For the better part of a decade, Telemann continued to grow. We added employees, expanded operations, and made a name for ourselves as a telecommunications company on the rise. To do that, we needed to reinvest in our people. Employee relations is a big thing within Telemann. Not only do we have our own ESOP, which gives our employees part ownership in this awesome company, but Telemann does many other great things like providing scholarships to its employees' children and hosting corporate-wide events like our Christmas in July celebration. It's all because what matters most to our people is what matters most to Telemann. During times of steady evolution, things look pretty good. You start to see where you fit into an industry. But Elba was looking way ahead of the rest of us. In the 21st century, it was becoming clear we were entering the dawn of a new era in telecommunications. Because of the shift to a more internet and B2B focused infrastructure, we had to expand our capabilities to align with these industry changes. We in Cummins started working in 2004 with Albert Chen to expand the work of Telamon into the industrial sector. We started with few assemblies at that time, but now Telamon produced more than a thousand assemblies for our manufacturing plants around the world. Everything was rolling right along at a steady pace, and then... Telamon is everywhere. In 2009, we established offices in Ohio, Kentucky, Missouri, Arkansas, and New Jersey. We certainly racked up a lot of frequent flyer miles in 2009. And we didn't stop there. Eventually, we will open six more facilities and go global by expanding to Mexico and China. Very quickly, Telmon became a worldwide company. Innovation isn't easy, but when your entire company is founded on the principle of simplicity, innovation becomes a byproduct of finding simple solutions to seemingly complex problems. And then the telecom bubble burst. As a company, we knew we had to find a way to save money. Why not jeopardize our most important asset, our people? When we found a cost-effective way to handle our back office, we thought, why can't we offer these same solutions to other companies? And that's how business process solutions happen. All of this innovation is certainly happening in our industry. And you would think that would be enough to keep a telecommunications business busy. Not for Albert. By 2013, it was time to turn our focus to powering the world's future. That's why we partnered with Telemon for this project. 
By 2014, the IND Solar Farm here at the Indianapolis International Airport became the largest solar array in the world at any airport. And without Telemann, the Jones Museum of Indianapolis wouldn't have been able to do this. With a grant from the Telemann Foundation, we created these incredible Chinese arts and culture performances. It's an experience that parents and children from Indiana can experience every day, right in their own backyard. Telemann is truly a company that cares about our community. For many years, United Way and Telemann have partnered to improve the lives of those in need. Telemann's giving spirit is evidenced not only by their financial support, but also by the significant time employees have volunteered. And giving back also means advancing a cause. When Albert helped found the Asian American Alliance and later the American China Society of Indiana, he was empowering minority business leaders to have a voice here in Indiana. For anybody that knows Albert, there's always a new frontier around the corner. Now, our medical solutions division is breaking new ground in simplifying mobile health. 30 years. 30 years. 30 years. 30 years, wow. 30 years. 30 years. 30 years. 30 years. 30 years. 30 great years. 30 years. 30 years, what a milestone. Happy 30 years, Mom and Dad. Thanks for getting us this far. Imagine where we'll be 30 years from now.